The natural reserve system is unique. It's a resource unlike anything available in any other university system in the world. There's your little kangaroo rat, fiercest animal in the West. It is a collection of protected areas, field stations, and research centers uh, spread across the state of California, 39 in total, more than 750,000 acres of, of protected lands. Is actually measuring the temperature movement through the tree. And these are dedicated to a parallel mission of the university, which is to service university level education, research, and public service. The natural reserve system is just, it's such a magical network of wild places that we can take our research to, we can take our students to. And I think people think of universities as being books and laboratories and classrooms. The natural reserve system is all of that. It's our rare books. It's the rare place where we can go and, and learn about the past and anticipate the future. It's a gift from the people of California that they don't know they've even given us. We're an unknown treasure in their backyard. I feel that my job is to serve the people of California. So I'm, I'm really proud to work for the reserve system. So we need to thank the people of California for supporting you know, this reserve system. It's been here 50 years and <laughs> we want to see it go on another 50 years after that. The University of California's system of natural reserves is vast and diverse. 39 very different ecosystems from one end of the state to the other. From southern deserts to northern forests. From the sea to the summits of our highest peaks. It's an ecological cross-section of California with vulnerable landscapes protected in perpetuity for the advancement of science, education, and the future of California. The nice thing about it with, with, with any of the UC reserves really is the fact you've got protected, stable land. You can pursue research without the fear of losing the land or of losing anything you put in the field. And then the fish and the bugs keep the water clear. So we have Long-term research in all the reserves covering an astounding array of topics is conducted safely and securely, allowing scientific information gleaned in one generation to be built upon and compared by the next. Innovative techniques and technologies are tested in the reserves and lead to important scientific breakthroughs. Año Nuevo is a magnet for not, a, not only other UC campuses, but for researchers around the world. Northern elephant seals have been studied at the Año Nuevo Reserve since the 1970s. In recent years, newly invented tracking capacities have allowed scientists to virtually follow the seals to their feeding grounds in the far North Pacific. And the unexpected findings of their research into the mysterious lives of these aquatic athletes has been simply stunning. The animal can dive over a mile. The deepest dive is, is, is literally 1,760 meters, which is, is a little bit over a mile in depth. To them, that was like a, that's a walk in the park. Marine tracking technologies developed to follow elephant seals far and deep are now also used to monitor sea turtles, tuna, and sharks on their epic migrations, giving us unprecedented insights into the health of the oceans as our climate changes. One of the things we're learning in, as we study climate change is that things are happening much more rapidly than we ever thought could happen. Climate change in California is being studied comprehensively in a new initiative involving all 39 reserves, including Boyd Deep Canyon near Palm Springs, a pristine refuge of nature, and home to the gravely threatened desert tortoise, our state's reptile. We show that the, this current desert landscape where you find them down here, in a, like 80 years, that's gonna be around the Sacramento area. Science is showing the climate is warming and environments are changing much faster than tortoises can adapt. We now are ready to submit a paper on the desert tortoise and we now know that it's going to go extinct in the next 80 years from climate change. But science is also showing the tortoise's fate and ours is not yet sealed. 
if we reduce our carbon footprint soon and turn down the global thermostat. So we're right at a crossroads right now. We really can save the tortoise if we act to change. Science conducted in the natural reserve system can inform wise public policies and has helped lead to the protection of many rare and endangered plants and animals, such as western snowy plovers, California condors, and scrub jays, and little foxes that can only be found on Santa Cruz Island. Beyond the research angle, it's very important to think of the educational opportunities they provide. Uh, the fact that uh, field classes come out here, you know, the learning the field techniques uh, you can't do in a classroom. We have nine right there, and then we go... Students join faculty in all the reserves to advance their higher education and help conduct critical scientific studies. Professors and students in the arts and humanities come here too. And in some reserves, so does the general public, including citizen scientists well, and young people learning to love and understand the natural world and be inspired to become the next generation of California's stewards and scientists. Let's see if we can find this guy. At the Sedgwick Reserve in the Santa Inez Valley, rattlesnakes are being studied by young graduate students. He's over there. Who share their knowledge and passion with fifth and sixth graders. See how it's getting louder over here? Come around this way, and we're gonna try and peek from as far away as possible because he's a little scared because he saw us. Oh, yeah. So if you look right in there, oh, yeah. he's looking at us. I think when kids see that, they can picture themselves doing anything. Well, if that woman can study rattlesnakes, then I could study bugs, and that would be okay. The UC Natural Reserve System has carved a distinguished legacy over the past 50 years, advancing knowledge and education, guiding public policies, and inspiring the next generation of learners and leaders. It's a genuine treasure we Californians have helped create and sustain. With our continued support, it can serve us well in the next 50 years and far beyond. What I hope for the system in the future is for us to continue to do what we're doing so well. I'm really excited about where we're headed and, and really there's, uh, there's nothing keeping us back. There's nothing holding us back except our willingness to move forward.